Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed video two. We're on to video three. Now the first one we went over fundamentals, the second one we went over some upper body like pushes and even a punch, which trust me guys, you gotta do these a hundred times. One of my uh, instructors, my grandmaster said, you gotta learn something a hundred times and then you gotta practice it a thousand times every time you learn it. So if that's the case guys, go back and watch these videos over and over and over and over and over and over again and then get a partner with you and practice them over and over and over. Get, get a day, spend an hour going through these, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight uh, arm bar skills and literally do just, do just once a week for a whole entire month, you'll start really maximizing your standing arm bar. So let's move on to model three. Model three is the close range here where Alex, we're in here, you know, and then suddenly Alex grabs me, a hold of me, he either gets my wrist or he's like trying to get a clinch on me and pull me down or I got him in a clinch and he rips one of my arms off here and he gives me an opportunity, okay? Um, you know, so there's, there's a lot of things that could happen here. I, I'm talking, I'm backing up, he lunges in, grabs my wrist and goes to punch, I'm blocking. So there's a lot of different methodologies. The, the think about it, if I was in law enforcement and I'm standing weapon back, he, he wants to go in and control that weapon. So if he was holding his weapon in the back, and, and I just, and the officer's back off, but I suddenly grabbed the weapon and tried to go in. Remember, these are scenarios where this is going to happen. So even if it's security, if I have cuffs and the guy doesn't want me to grab my cuffs, he's gonna go after that wrist. So there's a lot of factors that are modern day ways that we can use these things um, and, and to, to use these to an advantage, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start loosely close so you guys can see the skill. So Alex grabs it with the same hand here. Now I have all kinds of things I can do, sorry Alex, um, to, to di distract him for a second. We're in close again. I'm not gonna kick your throat anymore, I already did that one. So I can kick his shin, you know, I can palm him in the head. I can do all kinds of stuff. I might be worried about this hand hitting, okay? So I might distract once. Here's what we're gonna do really quickly, ready? I'm gonna grab the wrist and invert the fingers. And I'm gonna slip out real quick. Now. I'm just gonna let you know I have an arm bar. Remember, the arm bends this way, but it doesn't bend this way. This is a, a really simple move. So I used a finger lock to get to the joint lock. His hand was on me, we're in here. I had a moment where I could open him up, and then I'm gonna open him up even further. Now the thing is, <laughs> okay, the thing is, yeah, it's, 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 it makes your body react to yeah. certain ways. Okay, let's switch sides, give you a break, okay? So here's the thing. We were here, let's open it up a little bit so I can see. All right, so the first thing I did was grab here. Now, I gotta make sure that I'm clear of this weapon. So don't be foolish here and think that, oh, I just grab here and I take the punches on my face and elbows to the mouth while I was doing it. So this is where I might have been defending and bam, I hit him once and then I opened him up. Does that make sense? Or I was defending and then boom, I tried to kick him and I opened him up. Now, I just want you to see what this looks like. Grab. Once I touch here, I push down. Once I have his fingers, like this is tense right now, that hurts, okay? Once it hurts, I let out, which kind of feels like a relief until I do this. Now, any of you guys ever ride a motorcycle? You don't crank this way, that'd be weird, and you'd be made fun of by your friends. But you crank this way. What this does is I'm torquing up a lot of the muscle groups, so what I want you to do is bend your elbow. But it's really hard for him. Now, if I let go, he can bend his elbow all day long. So by doing this, I'm preventing him from, from bending his elbow back. I'm also holding his body away from me, and I'm also creating a base for my lever. Okay, so let's put all this together. So he's in here, he's got my hand. Uh, let's do the, we're gonna do that one next. Okay, he's got me here, I deflect him off. I'm gonna grab the wrist, hold him up, I'm gonna turn here, and then I torque him over. Now. You notice that I did this, and you notice where Alex went. It's great if I take him up, but if he's up, he's still, he's still up. So I'm gonna roll him over a little bit here. Now he's rolling just to protect himself, which is smart. Okay, so come on back. So from here, I roll the fingers up. I drop my arm just under his armpit. My arm is right across the back of the tricep. And then I literally turn slowly my shoulder down. Now, if this is as far as I get, that's fine. I can drop it to a regular arm bar at that point. Okay? So, let's go into the cross hand mode. 
All right, so Alex gets me cross-handed, okay? So there's two things I could do here. One, I can literally come up underneath here. I just did it. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. So all I did was this. I made sure the elbow was pointed the direction that I'm going to come up oppositely from. Okay? So if I hit him once, bang, and I hit him twice. And the funny thing is when I hit you once, what happens after it's tense? And then I hit it twice. You all okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right, good. So here we go. We're going to do it again since Alex Elbows is okay. All right, so from here, what am I still going to be worried about? So he might be punching. Oh, I'm going to cover. Wham, I'm going to distract him, which is just awful because I smacked him right in the lips and face and the nose. Okay? I'm still on the outside. I'm waiting for him to turn with that punch and right in my mouth. Bang! Don't worry, I won't make your face again. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to shoot this through here. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm hitting that tricep. From there, I can continue and roll it down or slam it again. All right, thanks. Yep. All right, let's do cross hand. Okay, so again, uh, let's do cross hand. That's how I was trying to do that. Here we go. All right, so it doesn't matter if you're standing this way or the other way, okay? So again, I'm outside. I'm protected here. I'm trying to protect. I'm going to distract them. It obviously it works, right? <laughs> I'm going to distract them. All right, I'm going to kick them in the shin, all right? And then I'm going to shoot this hand here. I'm going to shoot it at that tricep. I'm, I'm holding the elbow still. I'm going to shoot it at that tricep. Now, what's crazy if I do this and this at the same time, that's when he knows it really hurts. When I only do that, a little bit. When I do both, that's when that elbow locks out the wrong way. So I'm going to pop. I'm going to hit that elbow once and then turn the body just like we did in the shoulder turning one in video two. All right. So let's just slowly recap these again. Now, same side. Same side, good. All right, so clear, make sure I'm clear or distract. Roll it up, open it up, turn them down, okay? Cross hand, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> cross hand, so the first one was same side, this one's cross hand. I'm gonna quickly just shoot this hand up in here, pull this to my body and shoot that up at the same time, which is snapping the elbow, then I would just roll it down on the body, taking them down to the ground. Okay, from the other side, same side. Okay, I'm gonna roll it up and under, release, and then snap the shoulder over that way to, to lock the arm out. Cross hand, okay? So from here, um, all it doesn't matter, okay? From here, I wanna get to the outside, shoot my hand in here. It's like, um, it's almost like I'm trying to hit him with my bicep, here. And at the same time, I'm taking this half and I'm pulling it. So when I do both, is when he gets that reaction. So give me a cross hand grab here. So again, I'm shooting it and snapping it here, okay? So I'm shooting that and snapping it there, okay? Thanks, Alex. All right, awesome. So here we have model three from these lower wrist grabs or controlling mechanisms. Um, these could be done from if somebody grabbed your, your belt or if you had a, if he did actually get a hold of my weapon, okay? I could, I could do the same thing from here, which is crazy. Like he could do the same moves um, whether they're trying to grab what, so if you're in law enforcement or securities, these techniques work directly with uh, protecting your weapons as well. Okay guys, so I really appreciate all of your time here at our webinar, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I got my buddy Mark Hatmaker coming in in December doing another webinar for you guys, absolutely free. So I, I hope you guys can help me pass the word along to your friends, you'll get an email update about it as well. He's going to be doing uh, a, a building block series on submission grappling and stuff like that. Um, you can always check out his RAW, R-A-W, uh, uh, series on the internet. Uh, look up Mark Hatmaker, R-A-W in all caps, and you'll find his page. He's got a, a, a ton of books, DVDs, all kinds of awesome information. So thank you guys for tuning in to Ultimate Martial Arts videos. Uh, we hope you enjoyed today's webinar on our stand-up arm bars. We'll see you guys on the other side. We're done. Nine.